Hi friends, welcome back to Self Protection Extra. On today's Sunday gear review, I'm ready to talk about the Cloud Defensive Rain Rifle Mounted Light. Big Tech's Ordnance is my go-to source for accessories for all your defensive and competition firearms. They have great holsters with accessories for concealment and ship fast at great prices. I'm a proud customer and recommend them without hesitation. Mia culpa right up front. Cloud Defensive did send me this light. Uh, I have a connection with them. They are friends with a good friend of mine. Um, talked to them a little bit and uh, these guys sent me this light and I'm sure glad they did guys. Uh, you know, tipping my hand up front, this is a damn fine rifle light and uh, I recommend it. I think it's actually, uh, if I had to make a, a kind of a comparison, it's mod light quality at surefire prices, which I mean, it's, it's, uh, that, that's really saying something. It is really, really good light for a lot less money than a comparable light. Now, you know, I've been running on my rifle for a while. I've been running a Mod Light 18650 body with a PLH V2 head and um, then a Mod Button light on top of this rifle. And, and that's a great setup, but by the time you put that entire setup together, you're talking about 550 bucks. Um, this particular setup, so it's a, um, a rain uh, body. Um, I did have to buy an offset M-Lock mount. That's no big deal. Um, it, and then I bought the complete package, or they sent me the complete package, let's be clear, um, which includes the uh, remote switch with the Picatinny rail adapter as part of it and the, uh, the tail cap with a clicky. So it's a clicky tail cap as well. And that whole thing in black right now is 365 bucks, which is comparable to like a Surefire M600 dual fuel. Everybody likes to talk about the numbers, and this guy's numbers definitely stack up. 1,400 lumen. You know, I'm not uh, as sold on lumens as I used to be. 60,000 candela, though, and uh, a little bit warmer than the mod light. Now, you have to be a real light nerd to think about warmth of your lights, but let me turn off, and I happen to still have my mod light uh, pocket light in here, my handheld. So I want to show you kind of the difference in the lighting and the color between the 5700 Kelvin of the PLH V2 and the little bit warmer rain. So what you can see right there is my PLH V2 head 54,000 Candela mod light uh, PLH V2 in my 18650. I can get some of the circle on both of them, but if I illuminate one well, the other one is just a little bit dim, but still pretty good looking. Excellent light, don't get me wrong. Now, that on the other hand is my cloud defensive rain. Now, we're only at about 20 yards here, but with 60,000 candela, you can see it, it'll illuminate a good long way, probably as long as I can see uh, and, and take a good shot with a rifle for sure. You can see hot spot just a little bit less than my PLH V2, good spill. You can see a long way around, so I can see all this stuff around if I wanted to, um, and a little bit warmer light. In fact, if I leave this guy on, and I go get my handheld here. You can kind of see the difference in color if I illuminate one and then the other. So you can kind of see there the difference in color between them. Which one's better? I think it's a matter of preference. I also really like the remote switch. So the remote switch here has two modes. First one here is clicky. You might've been able to hear that click. I'm not positive if you could, but it's a clicky on that. So it's a click on and a click off or the back switch is momentary. So forward is clicky, back is momentary on and off. So you can see that there momentary on and off or clicky. And I really like that. I think that's very good, especially when combined with the fact that on the light itself, you have a, a light that you can go momentary or click through for uh, a full on or full off, which of course you would use that if you went to opposite shoulder. Now mine is on the left side of the rifle because I'm left-handed. Package they send you includes a Nightcore charger and a single 18650 battery. I'd probably recommend you have at least one backup, but I run 18650s and everything, so I have three or four backups, so I just kind of cycle them through the charger as we go. Um, for the money, I think these lights are incredible. I really do think this is mod light quality uh, and illumination, potted electronics, all that stuff, lifetime warranty, all that junk at surefire prices. Um, which is a winner in my book. And uh, from the, my interactions with their ownership, they seem like good folk. And so this guy is staying on my rifle. Uh, I'll put a link in the description if you wanna pick one up. They're not a sponsor of active self-protection, but this is high quality gear.